Brown looking for possession. Is there another attack for them? Conor McGinn running into challenges. Conor McGinn trying to slip away from those challenges. And one back by Daniel Goulding. Goulding has scored nine points in this All-Ireland final. He's fouled by Kevin McKernan. And that could be enough to seal victory for the men from the south. Cheryl Sullivan, one of the selectors, is out there to give a little bit of advice to the 24-year-old from Era Oak. Cork's leading scorer in this year's championship with uh, one goal and 43 points in all. Both teams playing in their eighth matches. Only seconds to go. Has Conor Cunahan achieved as a manager what he achieved as a player? Cork beaten in two of the last three All-Ireland finals are tantalisingly close to crossing the line and taking the victory. Daniel Goulding to kick this. It's moving, travelling, going left. They wait for a whistle. There it is, and it's all over. And Cork are the All-Ireland football champions for 2010. Celebrations all around. They were behind by three points at half-time, but they showed character and resolve. They dipped deep into their reserves. They brought on the strong men like their captain, Graham Canty, Nicholas Murphy, Derek Kavanagh and others. And Cork, well, it's a victory at last for the men from the south. Conor Cunahan can take the applause after the agony and the despair of losing two finals to Kerry. They eventually deliver a winning performance as Dan